Come, children. Wake up, Fru Fru. Hello, Pompey. Welcome home, Mademoiselle Louise. Hello, Aunt Suzanne. <laughs> my, my, how this child done grown. Well, she went away to that great big old your place. She didn't come no hide in my shoulder, but where's the baby? There she is. Hello, hello. Is this New Orleans? <laughs> New Orleans. <laughs> this is the plantation. We're home, Fru Fru. But where's New Orleans? New Orleans is where we left the ship hours ago. I didn't see it. <laughs> of course, you didn't sleep ahead. <laughs> Papa had to carry you ashore and put you in the coach because you wouldn't wake up. Where are the parrots, Harry? <laughs> yes, there used to be lots of parrots. <laughs> no, Mademoiselle, there never were but one parrot. Really? I thought there would be at least a dozen to say, Welcome on, Louise, welcome on, Fufu. <laughs> <laughs> well, Pompey. What's new? Well, let me see now. The parish Jew is meeting tomorrow. Uh -oh. Yes, yes, everything's just the same. But there used to be a mirror on that wall. I reckon you didn't remember, but it fell down and busted in a big storm the night your mama died. Oh. Why, these stairs aren't steep at all. And I remember them as being so high. That's because you were so little. <laughs> well, good night, children. Good night, Papa. Good night, Papa. Good night, darling. Sleep well. Oh, I like My gracious, but she talks for us. Of course she does. You know she's been in Europe ever since she could talk anything. What is this for? To keep out flies and mosquitoes. Well, there might be some sense in that. But what I want to know is when are we going to New Orleans? Oh, not soon. Papa's been away for a month fetching us. You'll be needed here. What a pity. Where shall we show ourselves in all our pretty dresses? And how shall we ever find a husband? Oh. <laughs> so you want a husband, Mademoiselle Fru Fru? Above everything, Mademoiselle Louise. <laughs> and you? Bear to look me in the eye and tell me you don't want a husband, too. Well, not just any husband. My word. Do you think I want just any husband? Oh, no. My husband must like to dance. Tra la 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 la. And like to write. And buy me jewels and make me laugh and let me do exactly as I please. <laughs> oh, don't listen to her, Suzanne. She's not half so silly as she sounds. What's being silly and loving a man who pleases one in every way? Besides, loving isn't so difficult. I love everyone. <laughs> Lordy, listen to that. Hear that fine silk rustle. Just like leaves are blowing and water running. That's why we call her Fru Fru. You can always hear the sound of rustling silk wherever she is. But she's never still, except when she's asleep. <laughs> You're not asleep now, are you, darling? She is. Yes, she is. We'll undress her. Hello, hello. Fru Fru. Aren't you going to wake up long enough to say your prayer? No. You sing for me. Yes, senor. The little man's out coming. I see them. Hear them so great and squishing? Glory, how I love that sound. Bonjour, all of you. Bonjour, Bonjour. I don't remember your name, but I'm glad to see you. My sister and I have presents for all of you. That's that nice. But we must get acquainted first. What is your name? My name's Therese, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And yours? My name is Marie. And yours? My name is Marie, too. I'm Yellow Marie, and her is Brown Marie. Oh, and yours? Yvonne, Mademoiselle. And yours? Marguerite. And yours? Agatha. Now I know you. <laughs> it's you. What's yours? I ain't got none, Mademoiselle. No name. No. They just calls me Pick. Short for Pick and Nanny. <laughs> Pick? That's good. And please, Mademoiselle, I wishes. Yes? What? I wishes I could be your own particular darky. You do, do you? Well, then you shall be. But if you are going to belong to me, you've got to wear shoes and stockings. Shoes? And stockings? Yes. Only your body! Honey, your papa and Mamzelle Louise is starting for the jury meeting and wants to know if you wants to go too. Jury meeting? Why should anyone go to a thing like that? There's always lots of gentlemen from New Orleans there. Gentlemen from New Orleans? Oh, that's good. That's splendid. <laughs> that's perfect. I'll go. Come. The facts are these. Once or twice a year, as you know, herds of wild horses are brought from over the border to be sold. 
Madame Valère has had five slaves, each a young girl, mysteriously disappear on five separate occasions with the departure of these horse dealers. But having no proof, she made no complaint until... This is talk. Nothing but talk. We know nothing about no black girls. Head off. Head off in the car. Until a witness was found recently, whose testimony will convict these particular men, not only of slave stealing, but also of... Uh, one moment, please. Welcome home, Monsieur Briga. Welcome home, mademoiselle. Will you sit here? And may I offer my chair to the mademoiselle? Oh, thank, thank you, monsieur. Nice to see you back, sir. Hi, Josh. Thank you. Who's that? That's Monsieur Georges Sartoris. You wouldn't remember him. Oh, yes. That is the boy you always like. Shh. Proceed, Mr. Sartoris. A new witness whose testimony will convict these men not only of slave stealing, but also of murder. Bring the witness, officer. <laughs> 